that. Jettison bag uh, has materials the crew will not use on uh, lunar exploration. Yeah, I'm the lunar equipment carrier uh, that they stretch that out kind of like a clothesline and hoist things back and forth on it heavier equipment hoist it down to the lunar surface and back up to the ascent stage to bring back home with them the rock samples and the, that equipment they do bring home not very much of it most Shortly of it left Shepard on the moon we'll be throwing the equipment conveyor belt so while he's working on the lec let me comment that uh it certainly is a stark place here to throw them all. I think it's made all the more stark by the fact that the sky is completely black. Roger. That's one of the reasons we don't watch Coretta. You get a plain Roger back from around. Great statement. <laughs> Degree. The same, 
position and will remain so throughout uh, the two uh, walks on the moon, but they they will move it from time to time to uh, cover as much of the area as it can cover, uh, area in which they are working. Right now, uh, they have not come to this first uh, movement of the camera yet, and as a consequence, you're not seeing Al Shepard in, uh, in these pictures that uh, now show just the landing ladder from the uh, lunar module hatch. Now he looks like he's doing and something with the camera. Finishing up by a second breaker check. We'll be ready to go out shortly. Roger, Ed. You heard Ed Mitchell get his go to uh, leave the spacecraft as well. Yeah, the adjusted. So you're going to uh, remove the net blanket. That is the uh, mobile equipment transporter. I think that's more fun to see a rickshaw there, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's starting <laughs> up. Okay. Mitchell coming out now. Roger, Mitchell coming out. Great picture, though. That's a shepherd. Uh, right on the camera and out in the back we ought to see Mitchell coming down the ladder. I think that tilt is coming from this hinged door that uh, this modulized compartment's on and you see that as Al has to move the uh, Met off, uh, rickshaw, whichever. Yeah, in other words, as he works at the mesa up slightly now to uh, get the uh, met, uh, which is a uh, pull cart, out from under it. And John McLeish is saying he's uh, working on the mesa. Uh, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Coming down. Uh, bottom step. <laughs> uh, bouncing along in that one sixth gravity. <laughs> Testing. Now, this isn't just for fun and games. Got there with those lightweight units. Test and get used to this one-sixth gravity there yeah. at the foot of the ladder. Yeah, they did too. That's great. Now, this is Houston. Have you uh, released the Met yet? Over. He's releasing it now. Will 
be placed on one of the foot pads. The Metagon's a mobile transporter, a little two-wheeled uh, cart. Well, just play it up, son. Okay, if you'll stop here a minute, I'll get your pen out. Many people don't realize is how many how many hours they spend rehearsing this maneuver too, as well as flying the spacecraft. Each of these okay, techniques is practiced over and over. Okay, thank you. Okay, Houston, the uh, Mesa has been uh, towed on the plus Y foot pad. Roger out. And going back to adjust the Mesa. some of these bits of equipment, for instance, this uh, mobile transporter, they put it over on one of the foot pads. It makes kind of a handy little uh, Mobility is, uh, tray for them to work with. Very great, but this crushing 160 load, Houston. Okay, Houston, we're going to have to Shepard now adjusting the television. compensation on the lens this time as well, so we, we shouldn't have the, the same potential risk. Shepard Mitchell's first lunar excursion will continue in a moment. 